I'm going to inflict some new poetry on you. Um, the tree that didn't answer the phone. <laughs> the ring rattled like sore teeth across the soft wood of a brain that didn't want to be woken this particular day. An arm rose like a branch an ape left. It groped like a dying crawl stroke above the duvet of unconsciousness. A hand missed the phone. The message crashed on like a tree falling alone in a forest of deaf ears. A voice caught in a mouthpiece on a spider's web. The caller frustrated, but the call pressed like oil in a yellow hydraulic grapple of imaginings and squeezed out the last drop of sleep. The head rose above the surface and kept rising above the surface, a lop scar on a trunk rolling in a cold river, queuing for a screaming wood mill. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's in a hangover. <laughs> Uh, okay, I haven't thought of a better title yet than Rapture. Uh, it contains an extract from the US Department of Energy Center for Human Performance 2009 report. It comes from page 32. It'll be obvious. Uh, some people don't believe in spirits and see no need for exorcism despite the evidence. Hollywood heights of paranoia in boys' heads, swaggering between estates, plagiaristic scripts and posing with killer smiles to sell carbon kingdoms to Frankenstein corporations for less carbon than it takes to live. But who's judging? Nobody's perfect. In the beginning was an error, and that error was God. And since that error, there have been many errors. The hand shakes, it's a fraction over or under. A wandering decimal point is just a wandering decimal point. We've missed a turn, a train, made the wrong address. A sewage pipe is cracked, oil spilled, wires are crossed and love is undeclared. There are always errors. We might as well relax. Let ourselves be sucked into a heaven beyond oxygen and turn in rapture. Like seagulls over a dropped ice cream. Under normal conditions, humans make an average of five to seven errors per hour. Under stressful, emergency, unusual conditions, humans make an average of 11 to 15 errors per hour. When it breaks down, like trees, like parts of speech, the growl and the cheat, the throat and the ear, trust, love that means slavery, God that means the end of creation, it will become obvious between us and nothing is nothing but weather. A cloud tongue, sea-wide, covering the coast, poised darkly, turning its edge, waiting for the right wind, waiting to rush across the plain and crash like a dam-busting squadron on a mountain. When it breaks down like the reflective power of ice, in blue trickles, black streams and milky rivers to the diluting, acidifying sea, we will see nothing but weather protecting us. Tiny, high, white clouds shredding in a thinning sky, the rain not falling like it hasn't for years, any water there was has turned to salt, bone is flesh salt. When heat is unmediated by greenery, language is a swollen, suffocating purple gag in a mouth. Sun is bleach for killing. Between us and God is nothing. We might as well relax, let ourselves be sucked into a heaven beyond oxygen and turn in rapture like loose tea in just boiled water. Uh, this is called To a Clementine. I knew it might be a bit of a desert. Other people thought it foolhardy. To be truthful, I had no choice. Sturdy boots, a good hat and confidence there would be water. At the start, I was sustained by the novelty. Me, a sundial moving over stone crumbled through rhubarb and cinnamon rocks between emery cliffs and blazing mountains. 
me shivering at night under the glistening pupil of an all-knowing eye. But it's a desert. The sun wants to see actual ribs. Night is cold as a scalpel. There's no water. Movement is a trudge. Any straight line is lost following mirages, liquid in the distance. Unreachable umbrellas of palms and unkissable soft lit walls of cafes. I have learnt, walking on hot sand so long to suck moisture from dust. I have adjusted into an inhabitant, indistinguishable from a ragged shadow, who can hear sadness, like a boulder rocking in a river, like a fall of a call into a pool in a cave, like tears knocking reeds and streaming over a bead bed. I recognise it. I remember it. It's water. It's real water. Clear and cool as any water that ever flowed from a dark place to light, from a heart to a clementine, from a well to a green lawn, with blood red and burnt yellow borders, and a tree in flame with juice. Um, I've cannibalised a song from One True Dog. Um, might work. Uh, if you were simplistic enough to be a human evolutionary psychologist, then you might uh, think that you could develop a questionnaire and extrapolate from that where human, into what human beings are going to evolve. And um, these are, this, it's a multiple choice questionnaire, obviously, and this is just four of what could be many more. Rising from an old slick, emanating an aura of lottery ticket, she arrives on the beach, rolled in a carpet of breaking waves, magnificent and baroque as a pope's indulgence of desire for youth, youth full of innocence. She arrives glittering in gouts of brill cream on a quiff. She's reflected off the worktops in the kitchens of the blessed. She smiles in blue-skinned air on hoardings, sweating solid streaks of wallpaper paste. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. More applause, please, for Zolo Bobble. Yay.